charge of our city had known for nearly a month that his crew were planning on taking over his position. The toxins had nearly taken him entirely and he had minimal time left. Leon here. We still on that tray today? Tomorrow. Joe and Sid pretended to resent each other and employed to distract Leon. They had many secluded meetings with Adam and discussed the future plans for the town. Leon had been waiting for death for a very long time, ever since the days of the Great War. But he was extremely anxious about Joe and Sid taking over as they cared more about control and wealth than the people struggling on the streets. Come on, pay up. Ah, I'll hook you up after the bloody trade. No, go on, go now. I'll see you tomorrow, Charles. Everyone hated Leon, we all thought we could do his job better than him. But it was an arduous job and none of us were reliable enough to do it. Joe would never admit that. Charles had no idea that after the trade, we were waiting outside ready to take Leon out, but Leon still partly blamed him. Charles responded very badly with change, so Sid and Joe didn't say a word to him as he would be needed later on. It was never our plan to kill Sid. He had a disagreement with Joe earlier that day. Joe told Brock to shoot him as soon as he came out of Charles' apartment. You're not looking too well.
Water. We never thought we would see Leon again, but the radiation would have killed him in a few days anyway. I think that was why Joe spared him and gave him water instead of a knife to the head. He felt very guilty about what he did and hoped Leon would forgive him before he left this place, but we all knew Leon never would.